welcome to another Speedy Clark production. Bit of a different film today from the ones I normally do associated with projects and training and cycling and motivation. Um, basically, I am at the end of my two year mobile phone contract. So I currently have the Honor smartphone, Honor number seven smartphone, which has actually been a really very good phone. I went from Sony Xperia Z1, I think, um, and changed over to the Honor phone, which was recommended to me by some friends and then um, just doing some online research. And it's been an absolutely amazing phone. Still working well, but uh, now I'm at the end of the contract and I'm looking for a new renewal. So because of the increase in what I'm doing on social media, YouTube, etc., uh, I'm looking at a, a good smartphone that I can basically use for um, filming, uh, surfing, watching TV as well, um, surfing YouTube, and I need it to be quite quick, be able to do some good uh, photography and good filming as well. So I've narrowed it down to a few options, and the options are the Y Honor 9, um, which again, I like the Honor phone. It's got a, a proven track record in terms of my own opinion with myself. There's the iPhone X, which is a big no already. So I know a lot of people rave about Apple. Personally, I don't like Apple. I'm not an Apple fan because for me, there's a lot of restrictions. Um, I can't seem to switch between many different product types. So iPhone and anything to do with Apple is out for me. There's the Pixel 2. The LG G6, um, OnePlus 5, the Galaxy S8, which I've been recommended, and I do like the look of the phone. Functionally, it does seem very good. It has got an amazing camera, and the reviews I've watched and read have been very positive. However, the price is unbelievable. Um, now, the Honor 9, actually, on side-by-side -side comparison, has as much power um, performs the majority of the tasks and is equally as quick. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for the Honor 9. Um, if anybody's got any different opinions, then please let me know. But definitely in terms of price range, bang for buck, the Honor 9 seems to tick all the boxes. The Samsung S8, it, yeah, as I've already said, it does look a, a very nice um, phone and the reviews are good, but the price is ridiculous. And side-by-side -side comparison, the S8 and the Honor 9, there isn't much in it. So um, I'm thinking it's going to be the Honor 9, definitely. But uh, please give me your opinion if you think I'm completely wrong. But uh, having said that, it... Um, you know, does what it needs to do in my opinion. Um, so I'm with, uh, my contract is currently with three and I'm going to extend it with three again because I get, basically get 600 minutes to any network. I get 2000 minutes to the same network. I get something like 3000 text messages and I don't really text that often. But the big important thing for me is I've got unlimited data. So surfing, uploading, downloading, you name it, I've got unlimited. So I don't need to worry about that. So uh, all good. All right. So uh, catch up with you later. And again, leave your comments and criticisms and uh, let me know your opinion on which smartphone I should get. Thank you very much.